All right, so I guess I'll make this video about uh, advice that I've that I'm trying to follow that I'm having a hard time following because it seems like I don't know, things are just like inherently difficult to like accomplish towards these things like uh For some reason, I only get the inspiration to actually make the video when there's something that I want to, like, clarify or, um, you know, make the distinction. But, and this is also me talking about something that I feel like I am doing wrong. I'm asking, like, how to implement it, too. But, like, for instance, um... I'll just say that, I, yeah, because I really respect the person. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it myself. So, like, for instance, with uh, geek psychology, um, uh, he made a video saying how, you know, INTPs need to engage with their FE more. But mm, I'm having trouble figuring out like how you engage or uh, how I would engage with the FE more when people are inherently, which I'm sure like an INFP can relate to this too, when in, people inherently just don't want to embrace the truth. So you literally have to lie to be around them, in a way. So I don't understand how to, like, go into a social situation, just kind of jive with it, because there's literally, like, no one around me that cares about the same stuff as me. So, like just my presence bothers people. Um, and then you might say, like, then maybe I should sacrifice um, you know, like, what my opinion is, but uh, like, the Sagittarius 8th house thing. It's like that lesson of you can't you can't teach people that don't want to learn. But then there's... Then if you know something, do you just... You don't isolate yourself either. You try to figure out how to integrate yourself. But... What if you know that integrating with others perpetuates the problems that you're... You are constantly having to deal with and others are having to constantly deal with. It seems like... It's... and... The part I'm... Yeah, and part of that too is something yeah, Universal Frequencies was saying of... You know, having to... It's not just him in this regard. There's, like, a lot of people that have said, you know, you, or it's just a kind of a general thing of you have to um, go along to get along. But that's not what he said. He didn't say those exact words, but, you know, he said something like, um, you know, in order to... You have to kind of tell people a little bit, like, what they want to hear in order to, and then it's like, but I respect you and your opinions, but for me to do, to take your advice, I have to go against what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like, 
not at, I mean, but not necessarily go against it, but I have to voice my opinion towards it in order to take your advice, ironically. So I guess, I don't know, there's like a distinction. And then because I have the Sagittarius 8th house, whatever insight I see, and I guess it's maybe the Virgo 5th house too, my expressing the criticism or the, the details, the thing that I see that could be different, I know it's going to offend. But then I can't, like not, you know, be a part of it either. But at the same time, these definitely aren't the people that I have a beef with, you know, so to speak. It's... Like... The reason I'm even mentioning these people is because I think they're, like, making the most progress out of anyone. And that's why I'm even paying attention to what they're saying. Like... To even comment. But I'm just... I guess I'm just asking for myself, because I don't understand... how to integrate you know, being honest and truthful into associating with the people around me. And then you might say, well, then it, you've actually already, Universal Frequency is already advised, and, you know, I should probably, you know, go somewhere else then if I don't, but it's like, no matter where I go, Like, it seems like people are offended by my point of view and or just aren't interested in what I'm trying to do. Like, with the exception of these few people that I'm talking to and mentioning in this video. <laughs> like, I want things to make sense and people to chill like and then if I'm talking about like making a change it seems like the only way to make a change is for the people that get it to come together and invent something that the people that don't get it look at and then not necessarily instantly get it but are like oh wow that's cool how would I do something like that you know and that kind of goes along with what you're saying of you know it takes an action Which I guess the videos themselves count. But I feel like more radical instant change could happen if... You know, we actually got together and built something physical that, like... You know, people would be like... You know, that, wow, that's really awesome. Like, that's... And I'm not even going to name anything specific, because it completely... And that's probably something that throws people is... I can't say exactly what it is, because it depends on the preferences of the people I work on the project with. So I know it's vague, but, like... I can't say one certain thing, because then that's me taking control of of it and saying like you know we have to do this thing 
you know, but like an example, like maybe, I don't know, we try to get to get like uh, some maybe programmers or something together and make an app for like a progression tracker of our city. And, you know, it like updates, you know, and it's got like, you know, these types or, you know, maybe depending on how you look at, you know, these signs or like these, you know, people of mutual interest um, are linked to this problem area in the city. And then they have a discussion on it. There's some type of like discussion board, you know, like the live chat or something. And then, you know, it's kept up with how much difference is actually, like, what is changing, you know. Um, and then it can, you know, there could be all kinds of stuff on there, you know, it's fun, you know, memes, you know, maybe like certain videos or whatever, you know. That, that relates to like the certain types and then give people more of an idea of like how you know they you know which kinds of people they get along with and fit together with and you know are the most productive with and you can I mean I have to speak my truth I've seen there certain types just are more productive when working in a group than others like and you might say like I can't pass this judgment off like and say that you know you can only do this but it's not me saying you can only do this it's me sitting back watching them and letting that person tell me or express that that's the only thing that they would do because they're saying this is what I want to do or this is you know this is what I'm working on, you know, and that tells me, okay, if you're working on this, then you have a preference towards doing this, that means that you should be in this group, because these people are also working on this. Like, um, Really, I think it seems like the people with, from my experience, the people with the same two last letters out of like the MBTI types are the ones that should be in groups working together most of the time. Um, because of the similarity of not getting in each other's way as far as saying like like if you're if you have a different last letter then one of you is going to be like I want to keep going and the other one's going to be like we need to stop you know and it, it gets annoying like if you're going to actually complete something you probably both you know need to be operating on the same kind of wavelength of like both of you are wanting to keep gathering and then maybe after a certain you know period of time of doing the gathering you bring all that back and you still use your perception to explain to you know the judger that's organizing it all the stuff that you gathered you know later but while you're actually doing the meat of it I uh, you know so to speak I'm a vegetarian but like you know same doing the most of it like you know you should be working with people with that and then using the same kind of judgments um for the purpose of again being able to stay on the same page and like actually wanting to work with each other and continue growing and this isn't always the case you can work with other types but i'm saying this seems to be the most productive for you know staying not getting in each other's way um 
you know, kind of accomplishing the same type of thing. As opposed to what I've seen is like the groupings, there's the Kiersey grouping where he puts NFs and NTs together and then SPs and SJs. Not, like, the SJs don't automatically work together. They're kind of, they're forced to learn how to, how to because that's the majority of the population. But they're not necessarily trying to do the same thing, you know. Whereas people with the same, or the people with the same middle letters, they're trying to, like, they have the same interests usually. But again, or, you know, they can carry a conversation pretty well together to a certain degree, but they're like, M.O. is usually different. Or oftentimes is. Even though if you had something that's like a similar, or, you know, your opposite, actually, um, you know, rising sign, you know, then maybe, you know, you would kind of, you'd jive as far as that goes. But, you know, when push came to shut, when, you know, you're deciding on should we continue with this project or is this a stopping point you're going to still kind of interrupt each other um whereas you know which granted you're probably it's also going to be probably be beneficial for the second letter to be different because if you have two like say for instance if you have like an intp and an entp you're both going to be brainstorming and not including the necessary details as mentioned well by a lot of people but most recently the best example i think uh, is from nt support when he was talking about when they first started making videos and it was the intp and entp and they had like you know random skits or whatever that didn't get completed and then that became the skit i mean it can become a thing but you know th that type of problem will come up so like it's probably best to have the second letter different because then you can have the person that's taking in, you know, the intuitive stuff and then the person that's taking, like, you know, the senses, like, you know, the what's happening tangibly, you know. And then as far as the, the first letter goes, I think that can that can vary a bit. Um, really, like, I think, like, as long as those last three are like that, you know, it'll probably be, or at least that's what I've seen. But that, that's not to say, this, again, this is in terms of, you know, completing a project, not necessarily relationship, um even though it can be, a, you know, obviously, you know, relationships, you need to work stuff out. In that case, in my experience, I would think that more often than not, you'd want the first letter to be the opposite as well. Um, but even then, that's more individual type dy dynamics than being able to say that for every type, but yeah. So... I mean, it is in general, but... You know what I mean. So... Yeah, I, that's gonna be it for this one. Um... I guess also, you know, maybe I'm being stupid and not noticing the way to do it. And maybe you, it's something you guys have already mentioned a lot, but how to actually get in touch um, to run some of this stuff by you uh, has also kind of been challenging. 
or like I don't you know is it really just me out here you know like or is there a way to connect with people that are interested in doing the same thing but uh because I'm I don't know I feel I feel pretty alone in this. Um, but yeah, so <sighs> yeah, that's gonna be it for this, and. I may make another video. Yeah. I will talk to you guys later.